Hi everybody, I'm George Steele 88 with another video. Title of this video, Steelers Aftermath of the Loss of the New England Patriots. So let's get into it. I gotta say this about this loss on Thursday night. I know this, I'm recording on Saturday. So Mike Tomlin and the whole coaching staff are a disgrace to the city of Pittsburgh. They are. I know I said it on my um recap yesterday, but I gotta say it again. Mike Tomlin and the whole coaching staff are a disgrace to the city of Pittsburgh. He is responsible for what he's doing for the past 17 years. Playing down the competition, like a lot of people say on YouTube. Mike, this loss on Thursday night, like I said before, and on my YouTube shorts, so I'll put the link in the description. This is on Mike Tomlin's head. This is all on Mike Tomlin's head and the whole coaching staff head. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous what I saw on Thursday night. You know what? Mike Tomlin, it's just like he just doesn't care. It, he just doesn't care of what he wants. He's doing. The whole his coaching staff is complete garbage. Just flat out terrible. They don't know how to game plan. Well, Ellie Fonder and myself are not real coordinators. So they're there for the interim. This is in there for just this season. This share is just for this season. I uh, meant to say. Cause these in her these in her promotions don't work at all because the things that Mike Tomlin has been doing for the past 17 years when it comes to facing less, lesser opponents is asinine straight up asinine he's a disgrace he is Because Mika Fitzpatrick, he was right on what's going on in this team. He said, I, I, I said this on my YouTube shorts. The link is going to be also in the description. You want to watch that. So, because Mika Fitzpatrick was right on what he said. He, he has the right to throw this team under the bus. And rightfully so. Mika Fitzpatrick wasn't lying. Sure, he's been a non-factor this year. He's not making any come up with any big play game changing plays this year. But it ain't, it ain't just about him, but what he said is true is right though. Just ridiculous. And a coach and an offensive coach staff is not using George Pickens enough. And I don't blame George Pickens, George Pickens. For having a bad attitude. He's mad like I am. He needs to use more. Y'all using Deontay Johnson way too much. Deontay Johnson is not an elite receiver. Yeah, he may be number one, but to me, he's not. You got to utilize George Pickens more. Yeah, you might say he's not the best player on the team, but in his right mind, he is. We got we to gotta start targeting George Pickens more. I mean, he's getting he's getting all fed up, though. And I saw the grid on one on Steel Twins video. He's just running. They just got him running all these stupid-ass routes, and he's not getting open for catches. Miss Trubisky, Miss George Pickens was wide open in the um, red zone on fourth and two. Just asinine. This guy, I'm, I'm telling you, man, if they don't get this shit together, the whole coaching staff, not just George Pickens, but the Stars players, they want to get the hell out this off this team because y'all not using them. They are getting fed up with this bullshit.
if this don't, like I said, but I'm going to say this one last time. If this don't work out, George Gomez Pico said, man, y'all need to get my ass out of, out of this um, sorry ass team. So I'm getting tired of y'all bullshit because y'all not using me enough. Ridiculous. It's not just Royce Pickens. Calvin Altifer, I mean, I mean, Altifer's not been a factor this year. I mean, him, Austin, and the rest of the star players we have on this team, they, they're, gonna, they're not going to play for this team no more if, if this keeps up. I'm telling you. If this keeps up, they're not going to be playing for this team. I'm telling you. I said before, going back when we get Fitzpatrick, he was correct on everything what he said. So, hey, and going back to what I'm saying about Mike Tomlin, his coaching has been a joke. He is, he is, no, he is not a head coach. And like, say, like Terry Bradshaw said, he's a cheerleader. It's just a flat-out joke of a coach that he is. And all the 17 years when I put up with his shit, I've defended Mike Tomlin for about since 2013 or 20, 2017. But in twenty four, but right, well, right now, I reached my breaking point on him. It's just a joke of a coach that Mike Tomlin is. How you prepare teams for lesser opponents? Look at Bill Cowher's teams. You think they're gonna lose lose to lesser opponents? Hell no. Bill Cowher will, will just prepare teams. He will just. Get on teams on every occasion. Mike Tomlin doesn't do that. Bill Cowher, he takes the whole, he, he will take his job very seriously. Sure, he may have choked in the AFC Championship games, especially at home, but still, Bill Cowher takes this shit seriously. Every time we face an opponent under Bill Cowher, at times, we beat the shit out of him. Mike Tomlin, at times, doesn't do that. It's ridiculous. Re absolutely ridiculous. And like I said before about Bill Cowher, when he's coaching his team, he's very serious on his job. He's very serious on his job. You don't see him, see him standing around looking around like that. No, nah, he don't do that shit. He just get he just tells play, players something. He gets on players, especially when we had Cordell Stewart at quarterback. He say, "Cordell, Cordell, I know you can hear me. Let's go." See, does Tommy do stuff like that? Hell no. I mean, Chuck. No, he was a great coach though, but. I know you got a layback style, almost like, like Mike Tomlin, but at the same time, Chuck Noble would take things seriously, though, even though I didn't, didn't see him coach in my lifetime. But, and when I came to this world, he was on his last years of coaching. So, but I see taste of Chuck Noble um, at times getting on his players and all that. And Mike Tomlin, he don't do that too often. He's a very difficult from Chuck Noble and Bill Cowher. He is. And like I said before in my recap, Mike Kelvin does not deserve the Hall of Fame at all. The way he loses the uh, lesser opponents, he don't deserve being in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, he may have a pretty good record. Yeah, he may not have, have, not have a losing season yet, which I'm going to get into. But he doesn't need to be in Canton. He don't. The way he's been coaching his players, he don't need to be in Canton, especially against lesser opponents. It may not have anything to do with it, but still. He don't need to be up in there. Those two losses that we suffer throughout this week to the Cardinals, who are 2-10, now 3-10, and, and then to the Patriots, who are also 2-10, now 3-10, it's got to be the worst week for me being a Steelers fan. The worst. Absolutely the worst. I just can't understand Mike Tomlin and the coaching staff. Because they're not going to make changes in the offseason. They're not going to make any crazy changes in the offseason. The only change they're going to have to make in the offseason, what I got a feeling about, is Terrell Austin. He needs to get his ass out of there. Because his game plan at times has sucked.
It has, I'm telling you, it has sucked. Because the way you perish with lesser points, like I'm saying in this video, it's ridiculous. Lord help this team, please. Lord help this coaching staff, please. Just sickening. What about this uh, Mike Tomlin? He ain't nothing but a disgrace to the whole southwestern Pennsylvania area. That's what he is. A disgrace to this football team. Art Rooney II is a disgrace to the Steelers organization. He is. The Steelers way is not cutting it at today's game. It ain't. It's not cutting it. Mike Tomlin wants to be buddy buddies with, with uh, his um, players and his coaches. He needs to stop that shit. Football ain't about that. You do you see Mike Tom? Do you see? I'm excuse me. Do you see Bill Cowher or Chuck No be buddy buddies with people? Hell no. They ain't like that. Mike Tom is like that. Bill Cowher ain't like that. Bill Cowher takes this stuff very seriously. But like I said, boy, yeah, sure he's choked in AC championship games. So if I won one in 2005 and won one in Super Bowl 40. And I'm going to tell you, man, as long as my time and that sorry ass coaching staff is on this team, this team is not going to win, win shit. We're not winning a damn thing with this coach and, and this coach, the whole coaching staff. I'm telling you. These last four games, the Steelers, they're still on their own. They're on their own. So, like I said before in my YouTube video, I've been doing videos for a year. Still a nation. Prepare for the worst. And you won't, won't disappoint. Prepare for the worst, y'all. And you won't, you won't be dis disappointed. So... I got to play these... Players that we have drafted for about since 20, 2021, excuse me. They they don't want to, they don't, sooner or later, if these things don't get it together, like I said, they they be want to get out of Pittsburgh. So, so yeah, man. Let me know you're thinking down in the comment section on what I said about, about this aftermath. So, so that'll about do it for this video. This is Jordan Steele 88. Like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. And this is the second time that a former Steeler has beaten this team. Sunday was James Conner. And now Juju Smith-Schuster. I know Juju Smith-Schuster had an okay game. I don't know the stats of that game, but he did okay. I mean, he didn't score a touchdown like James Conner did. But Juju Smith-Schuster had a pretty good game against us. Second time a uh, former Steeler has beaten this team. Second time. James Conner of the Cardinals and Judas smith schuster playing for the Patriots, who have been not factors all year year to this till they played us. <sighs> Sorry to put it out there, but hey. So let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. So, this is George Steele 88. Like, comment, subscribe for more Pittsburgh sports content and other sports content on my channel. See you guys in the next video. And there'll be no here we go, Steelers, here we go. They're not getting that. They're on their own.